Hey, it's Apple Buff and welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how even you can use iOS 4 on any iPhone. So without a further ado, let's roll the video. To get the iOS 4 on your iPhone, you need to make use of the Test Flight app, which is Apple's approved platform to test apps that are still in development. And also with the link of the Test Flight app in the description, it will also have the link of the actual app that is needed to get the iOS 4 on your iPhone. Once you have opened the below added link in Safari, it will open up a page whereby you need to click on Start Testing and as soon as you hit that, you will be taken to the test flight app where the app is officially present. And from there, just hit install and the app old OS 3 will be installed. And once done, it will appear on your iPhone's home screen. Once everything is done, all you need to just do is just open the app to start experiencing iOS 4 on your iPhone. The app works pretty well. Like you can slide through the home screen to go to the next slide and same way you can do that to go to the main home screen too. We also have the dock down there and also to enhance the experience, the developer of the app has also added a home button. To give the feel of iOS 4, every app present on the home screen have been given a touch of iOS 4. Like for example, if we go on to Safari, the interface of the Safari is just like the way it was 11 years ago. And similarly, the same iconic touch have been given to the apps such as Maps, Settings, Phone, Contacts and the Notes app which in my opinion is pretty nostalgic. But here's one thing to note, that since this app is still in development, some features like YouTube, Messages and Calendar aren't available at the moment. But no sooner than later, we can expect the developer will bring those features live too. So with that being said, this is Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.